Hi, this is Mike Akrili and you are listening to the voice of Also Mike. So in this tutorial video, I would like to show you how you can um, import your Trust Wallet, all right, Trust Wallet account on, in uh, Token Pocket Wallet, all right, I mean Token Pocket app actually. So um, I'm going to be going into it right away. So how do you do that? The first thing is to get your... Um, to get the 12 phrases or private key all right you can either use any of any of the two so you can use the recovery it's called the, sometimes it's called the recovery phrases all right um or we call it 12 phrases okay 12 phrases um um seeds or sometimes they also call it seeds right but they all mean the same thing but private key is different from 12 phrases okay so you can use either of the two so how do you get that so from your trust wallet app here Okay, click on this settings icon, right? Then click on wallet. Okay, this arrow. Now you can see the wallet I'm using presently is uh, AirDrop wallet. Okay, that's why it's ma it's it max it here. Yeah. There's a mark on it. This is my main um wallet. All right. So, but because I'm using AirDrop wallet now, so I'm going to. You have to click on this three uh dots here. Yeah right click on it then it shows you your you can see that it shows show recovery phrase all right so inside this show recovery phrase if i click it now it's going to show you my 12 phrases the recovery phase and also the private key so you now determine which one you want to use but in this uh, for the for the purpose of this video i'll be showing i'll be using the 12 phrases right the recovery phrase okay so but i'll have to pause this video because your private your private key or your 12 phrases uh must be uh must be only known by you and no one else all right so that your account can be safe so i'll pause this video now and i'm gonna co copy it okay guys so i've copied my 12 phrases uh phrases seed now all right so what i need do next is to go to token pocket uh, app so i will search for token pocket all right so i will keep click on it to open it okay so i'm actually having my main account here all right but um i will i will now so for you to now import your wallet so you will click on this main can you see it's this main bsc account here with this arrow so click on it so you can see that it has brought um airdrop main bsc account all right so but actually what we want to do is to um click okay my oh okay my airdrop wallet is already here so let me find a way to delete it you can see i've already switched it back so let me show you so you can see but i will have to remove it before i can add it back so let me try and do that so so let me delete it okay 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 guys so i've deleted it so i'll this is my main account so i will have to um click on this arrow again so in order to add this the airdrop wallet now i'm, I'm you will click on this plus sign here all right but the first thing before you do that actually your own might be on throne wallets it might be on this true network or ethereum network so we, but don't forget that we want to import um smart chain bnb all right so you have to click on this one here all right you can see this now another thing you need to know is this smart chain bnb is different from the original bnb some people do make this mistake all right they will come and choose this one instead of the smart chain bnb so you should be careful and able to uh so that you'll be able to choose the right one 
put his margin BNB. You, you, of course, their their logo are, is the, you know their their logos are different actually. So this is the one you are going to import, all right? This margin BNB. So now, uh, what you're going to do is once you have selected that, you now click on this plus sign. Then you can see create new wallet. That's if you don't have a wallet before, then or import wallet. So since I already have a, a wallet, I want to import. So I'm going to click on import wallet now. So as you can see. It's showing me private key, the one I told you, or uh, Minoic imports. Okay, so this uh, mnemonic import is what I call the twelve phrases, right? The twelve phrases or, or the twelve the twelve seed, right? So I'm going to click on Minoic import now. Click on it. So uh, you can see this is the box where you are going to paste your copied 12 free, uh, phrases right memorizing words separated by space okay but since i've copied it i don't need to um to put comma but if you are typing it one after the other you can put comma as it is being done here or you separate it by space okay just as, okay don't use comma as you can see it says separated by space so you should use a space so um um after you have pasted it here, the next thing is to, you know, set up the name. All right. You can use eardrop wallet. I'm still going to paste my 12 phrase there, but, you know, of course, it is personal. So that's why I'm not pasting it now. I'm going to paste it once. Um, then your password, set your password here. Then repeat the process. Put it, then this int you can just use anything that can help you to remember your password. All right. So I will pause it now to do that. Then once you are done, you can also leave this um hint. This you can see it is optional. You can leave it. All right. It's just there so that you'll be able to remember your password. Okay. So once you are done, then you click on import well. So I'm going to do that now, and I'm going to once I'm done, I will. Um, see you in the next page all right so i'll pause it now okay guys so as you can see we are here now so this is my airdrop wallet it has already been imported so don't forget you can click on the balance to show the um i want to show the balance uh, <laughs> what's going on now Okay, just a minute. Okay, so just click on this sign here, all right? So, um, that is that. You can see it's very, very easy, all right? And if you also want to remove it, don't forget, just click on this arrow again. Uh, at the Let me show you this arrow, okay? This one I'm hovering on. Then you click on this place. If you want, as if you want to remove it, you click on this place I'm hovering on here. Then you click on anyone you want to remove here so you can see then you see delete wallet right so it's as simple as that so i want to believe that this um has been helpful uh so this is going to be the end of this video because it's already it's been it already so um thank you guys for watching this is mike Acrely, and you have been listening to the voice of also mike see you in the next video thank you